the brain is the most important part of the body when you play football because that's where all the information baby girl love my bop and I like me too no roof for my guys what's up we are here in Stockholm we've got a very special guest with us Isak Varal how you doing man fine tell us when you started playing did you remember your first kick I always had a ball on my feet it started when I was one, two years old at my house, just kicking around the ball. But I started playing in a club at the age of six. Then when I was eight, I went to Hammarby and I played there until I was 11. Yeah, and since that, yeah. everything's been moving on. I went to Benfica and after that, Fenerbahce. Yeah. How did you get scouted? Like, how did you really get seen? So in Hammarby, we play tournaments outside of Sweden in countries like Holland, Italy, Germany, and uh, I won player of the tournament many times. And I think that's how the big clubs saw me. And that's, yeah. that's the main reason I think. Sure. Now that you've got the pro tag, what's it actually like to be a pro? Because you're a young guy, what's that like? Yeah, it's very fun, you know, but it's very different from other people my age. You know, my closest friends, we still have contact, but you know, it's different now. I play football, I don't go to school, but I really enjoy it. And I think almost all kids dream is to be a pro. And I'm very grateful yeah. to, to be a pro this early, but this is just the beginning. You know? It's just the beginning, exactly. What are the differences? Like you, you're probably missing out on some stuff that your friends are getting to do. Almost everything, you know, they went to parties, birthday parties and all that, but I always had games, trainings. I worked a lot by myself, so I missed a lot of those things. A big part of my childhood went to football, but I wouldn't change anything else. You're a pretty tall guy. You're taller than me yeah. already. But even then, you're still you're gonna you're gonna weigh less than these other guys. How do you deal with the physical side of the game? You know, it's when I first came, when I started playing first team senior football, it was difficult. But you know, it's an adaptation phase. You get used to it, and of course, you have to put in some extra hours in the gym, yeah. on the field, running, yeah. everything. But I don't. I do that because I like that, and I think it'll help me a lot. <laughs> One of the things that I always tell young guys too is that they have to work on their technique and their technical ability because even if how strong you get and how like stuff, the technique is such an important part of the game. If you can pass, move, think quickly and all this stuff, it doesn't matter if I'm so much bigger than you or stronger than you, I can still pass, move and play. Is that something that the coaches stress for you? I yeah. think the brain is the most important part of the body when you play football because that's where all the information, you know, you can be smart but not physical yeah. and sometimes the smartness is better than the quickness sure. or the strongness. Sure. So I think that's very important. Yeah. If we could look out to the future, well, what are you hoping to do? Well, I'm hoping to play in the biggest teams, of course. My dream club at the moment is Manchester City okay. and the Premier League. Yeah. That's, that's my main goal. Do you have a favorite player within those teams? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Kevin De Bruyne. Okay and we play the same position, so I look up to him a lot. Yeah. And I always like Phil Foden. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, I think he's a great player. With that being said, Isak, first off, bro, Thank appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you for being here with us. Guys, check out everything we've got for you right down below in the description box if you want to see more, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.